If you're like most people, you probably think making money online is the most difficult thing in the world. From complicated crypto trading to making YouTube channels that require a ton of hard work, it looks as if earning cash online just isn't for everyone. Well, we're here to tell you that it's actually a piece of cake. All you need to do to make money online is to know which website to visit and what technique to use. And luckily, we've got one of the latest and greatest techniques for you today. Welcome to the Next Level Investors YouTube channel. In this video, I'll teach you tips and tricks to help you make money online. We're back with a brand new method just for you. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated whenever uploading a new video. So please like this video and leave a comment down below. Now, let's get back to the video. With this method, you can make almost $700 a day or $21,000 a month. You don't even need any experience or knowledge for this method to work. Just a few minutes of copy-pasting and you'll be making money in no time. For this method, we will be writing reviews for some softwares online. And for every review you write, you will get paid $10 and in this video, I'll teach you how you can write a review in just 3 minutes. And the best part is that you don't even need to be a tech savvy or know anything about the different types of software to do this. The website we're going to be using today is Capterra.com. Capterra is a software review website and this site has over 800 categories of software for you to choose from. 800 different categories plus new software listed every single day. This means you're never going to run out of software to review. And so, this is a great opportunity for you. To get started, here's what you need to do. First, you need to go to the website Capterra.com. And once you're there, you just need to set up an account to begin earning money. To do that, click on the Write a Review button on the top right corner of the page. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to a page with a list of softwares that professionals are using. These are all the popular softwares and you've probably heard of a lot of them, like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and many more. Capterra not only allows you to test out softwares, but it also includes apps and websites, so everyone that has used them can give their opinion. Now, once you're on the popular software page, you just need to pick one that you're going to review. You can pick any software that you like and I would recommend that you start off with the softwares and apps you have used so you can get a good idea of how everything works. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to pick a software that I'm sure most of you have used and that's Facebook. We'll just type in Facebook in the search bar and click on the first result. The top result is usually the right app, but if it's not, you can try the other search results. Okay. So then, we click on the top one search result and we're taken to the review page. Now guys, this is a three-page review, so make sure not to skip any part of the video. Otherwise, you might not get paid if you make a mistake. On the review page, you can see that they're asking you for a lot of information. And I'm going to take you through each of the steps of filling them out. The first page is related to your credentials and you need to type those in. First up, we have your first name and last name. When you're typing this, make sure you don't make a spelling mistake because this will later be used to verify your review and that's how your payment gets approved. Next, we have your email address and job title. In the email address, simply write your email address and in the job title, put in whatever job you're doing. Otherwise, you can just say you're a freelancer. After that, we have the organization name where you type in your company name or if you're unemployed, you can just write self-employed. As for the industry, try picking one where you won't have to get your skills verified. I would recommend that you put in entertainment since there's no actual way to verify that and it's an easy pick. In the company size field, just pick the number that most accurately depicts your company and if you're a freelancer, you can just type in myself only. The final option of this section is the most important and they will be asking you how long you have used this software. Now, there are a ton of options here ranging from free trial to more than 2 years. No matter what, don't pick the free trial or the less than 6 months option. Those options are there to filter out the new users, and since the newer users don't have a lot of experience with the software, 
the review usually gets rejected. And you don't want your hard work to go to waste, right? So don't pick that. Instead, choose an option like one to two years or more than two years. This lets them know that you're a long-time user and your review is more likely to get selected. In the next section, you get asked how frequently you use the software. Here, you should say daily to maximize your chances of getting paid. The last question is about the role in using the software. Are you a user, an administrator, or part of the team that set up the software? Since you use the software, you're obviously a user and that's what you should pick. This page needs to be filled exactly the same way for all the softwares that you write a review on. After this page is done, just click next and move on to the next page. This page focuses on the rating you want to give the different features of the app. And here you should try going for 4 or 5 stars for every feature, since the company is most likely to pick reviews that favor them. Don't go all out though and give everything a 5 star review. You want it to look as authentic as possible. Towards the end, they ask you about the pricing in comparison to similar products. Now since Facebook is free, I'm going to click inexpensive. For other products, you can pick whatever option you like. Finally, we have the question, how likely would you recommend Facebook to a friend or colleague? I'm going to pick very likely, but once again, this depends 100% on you. Once you're done with this page, we move on to the final page, and that's the detailed review page. The detailed review page is the main part, and it decides whether your review gets selected or not. Luckily, I have just the trick for you. First, we have the title, and you can put anything you like in there. For example, you can put Facebook a detailed review, or Facebook an in-depth analysis. And then next, we have the pros and cons, and for this, we head on over to Google and search for Facebook pros and cons. Now, you can't directly copy the pros and cons, since that would count as plagiarism. But what you can do is rephrase them using a paraphrasing tool. I would recommend that you use Quillbot, since it's the most accurate. Once you have the pros rephrased, make sure you check for grammatical errors and then just paste them into the given box on Captera and boom, that's it. Do the same thing for cons and finally we move on to the final section. Once you're done with the cons, open Captera in another tab and look up the Facebook reviews given by other people. Copy and rephrase the best experience section and paste it. Give all of them a quick read to fix any grammatical issues as well. With everything done and dusted, just click the Accept Terms and Conditions option and in the Did you switch over from another product question, click No. Then you're done. Click Submit and boom. That was it guys, you can write a review in less than 3 minutes and make thousands of dollars a month without having to invest so much time and effort. So that's all guys, this is all the great advice and tips we have for you today. If you liked our help, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you'd like to share to us, the next level investors, or even share about your experience, we'd love to read about it in the comments. That's all for today and I'll see you all in the next video.